Hey, two viewers, TJ Pyramid here with an update for October 14th, 2014. So uh, let's go ahead and start off with uh, some of the films that got today. I uh, picked the wife up a couple things for her birthday. Uh, her birthday is November 6th, so I uh, kind of had to grab a couple things for her that I knew she would enjoy. Um, with our birthdays, you know, we usually try to get some stuff that we know we're getting, and then we try to throw in some stuff, you know, that we don't know we're getting. So, what's today? The 14th, so hers is the 6th. I still got a, I still got a few weeks to shop. Sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with this here. Uh, the Persuaders, three film collection. Um, I wouldn't really say they're movies. They're more like uh, six episodes kind of hooked together to a uh, make like movie length um, features, 103 minutes, 97 minutes, 103 minutes. Uh, of course, you have Roger Moore and uh, Tony Curtis, both cool guys. So, you know, it's uh, you're going to have uh, the crazy clothing from the time period, as you can see there on the back. You're going to have uh, cars and action and things of that nature. So I should enjoy this, uh, beans. I'm never going to actually own the show because the uh, seasons are outrageously priced. But uh, this is a fun pickup for a couple bucks, so looking forward to seeing that. Uh, next up here, we have this movie um, on like a four-pack horror with uh, like the Blob and Christine. But we don't actually have it by itself, and it just has to be owned by itself, too, especially, you know, for a couple dollars. And that's a Fright Night. Absolutely love this movie. This is the original Fright Night right here, you know, with uh, Roddy McDowell, Chris Sarandon, and whatnot. This is a movie that desperately needs a re-release. Um, yeah, yeah, it needs a re-release bad, but uh, such a fun film. Uh, next up here, so, uh, my brother from another mother, Johnny Blues the Blues Man, he's a fan of these films, and I know there's a, you know, a lot of fan of these films otherwise, why would they have made so many? So I decided, well, I'm going to go ahead and start getting into them a little bit, and uh, picked up uh, all of these for a total cost of $16 for all of these, so... I mean, and they're all Blu-ray, so that's, that, to me, is a really good deal. Couldn't find the first one, though, uh, but I will find the first one. So, picked up X2, X-Men United. Uh, X-Men Last Stand. X-Men First Class, still with the cool slipcase, which was nice. This is the only one they still had with the slipcase. And then picked up uh, X-Men Origins. Wolverine. So I only need a couple more of them. Uh, the newest one, the other Wolverine, and uh, the first one. So yeah, 16 bucks for all of those, which is a damn good deal. These are all Blu-rays. These are all the special editions. So can't wait to dive into them. I've never actually seen all of them. Uh, I was I was always kind of against them because of the casting. I wasn't always a fan of like the casting they did, but uh, I think I can get past that, and I think the action and adventure is going to overcome me. And I'm going to be giddy with glee when I finish these off. And of course today, the biggest thing of the day um, is coming up after this last movie that we got. I tricked you. So this was just kind of a blind buy, um, but I like the company that it was put out on. Uh, Wellgo USA, who did the uh, excellent uh, Rigor Mortis film, that if you haven't seen Rigor Mortis you need to check it out. And they do a couple other cool uh, Asian things. But uh, this was I uh, got this at Best Buy for uh, I think eight seven ninety nine eight dollars on a Blu-ray, which is amazing because it's ten dollars on DVD at Walmart. But uh, I think this is kind of like a revenge film. Like I said, this is a blind buy, but I like the description of it. And I like the cover right there. Payback is a killer. American Muscle. You got a tattooed guy with a shotgun. He's bloody, and there's this kick-ass car ripping up the ground come on and then you got the back here you got some people with face paint you know you got tattoos and mohawks and uzis and shit come on uh this has to be a blast you get audio commentary with the director and the producer uh it's 78 minutes long so uh yeah i'm really looking forward to this i, I think i'm going to enjoy it i mean it's kind of hard to 
F up an action film, but it says uh, John Falcon is a bad, bad man, but he didn't deserve to go to prison. Now, after 10 years of hard time, he's hell bent on revenge. Screaming across the scarred landscape of the of Yucca Valley, Falcon's got a list of scores to settle in 24 hours to inflict brutal vengeance on everyone he holds responsible for putting him away, including his own brother. So I think this is going to be a blast of a film. I hope, but, you know, it's like I told the wife. If, if not, hey, it was only, you know, it was only a few dollars, so I don't mind that. Now, the biggest thing of the day. If you're a video game fan, then uh, today is a good day for you. Because uh, this is what came out today. Borderlands, the pre-sequel for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Put out by 2K Games, of course. Uh, this is the Season Pass, which if you're getting this game, you need to get the Season Pass because you get a... Uh, the new characters, new challenges, new missions, new experiences, it's always worth having. So got that uh, little piece of paper here. And then of course, uh, that's just the other thing for it. When you pre-order it, you get the Shock Drop Slaughter Pit, plus some extra skins for some uh, Borderlands 2 related stuff. But uh, here is the game right here, Borderlands the pre-sequel. You got the characters there. You finally get to play as Claptrap. You got the nice embossed cover here. Uh, completely badass. Uh, takes place on the Hyperion moon right there. You got some anti-gravity. I don't know if that picture's going to focus. Let's see if it does. There we go. So you got some new characters here. Uh, grab your friends and blast off to the moon. Low gravity gunfights await on Elpis, an alien moon under attack from a fanatical threat. Shoot, loot, and butt slam your way to badassitude. Completely cool. One of my all time favorite video game franchises. Absolutely love this. So haven't even haven't even opened it yet. So really looking forward to playing this. Uh, of all the games coming out on the new generation of systems which you know have the Xbox One this is really at the top of my list of games I was looking forward to now I have this I can focus on uh, other upcoming games uh, of interest um, you know ones that are already out like Evil Within uh, Sunset Overdrive uh, I have Killer Instinct Season 2 that's out not all the characters are out for it but uh, it is out of course you know you have uh, the re-release of Grand Theft Auto coming out uh, Witcher it's going to be a busy, busy year for games. But uh, this one was basically at the top of my list. I absolutely love this franchise. Uh, I have played the hell out of Part 2. So, uh, there we go. Badass, badass, badass. I'll probably crack this open tonight, uh, do my season passcode, and uh, see what other goodies are included with this. So, there we go. Did you mention how cheap it was? Oh, yeah, uh, and how cheap this was. Of course, you know, $60 game, and the season pass is $29.99, so basically 30 bucks, So roughly $90. But uh, with those gift certificates that I get for free for taking surveys that I've mentioned a dozen times that nobody seems to have interest in, so I'm not going to talk about them any further, but yeah, I've got like $1,000. $1,000 worth of free stuff. So yeah, I paid uh, for the season pass and the game, I paid 10 bucks cash. So, you can't beat it. So, uh, there we go. Thanks for watching the update. Hope you enjoyed it. If not, uh, bite the monkey's ass. Comment, subscribe, spread the word. Cheers. Taxi driver. I'm out.